Now, we just looked at the same machine. Now, this is the front of the machine here. I'm going to circle it with my mouse here. Um, that is the front of a PC. Uh, now, I'm going to show you what the back of a PC looks like here in just a second. Okay. Now, the back of this PC here, let me try to get it all complete for you so you can see more. I'll just zoom it in and let me move this out here. Okay. This is the majority of it right here. Now, as you can see, we're just going to start from the top since I don't have a long enough angle here. The top part, this is where the power supply is. This is what powers the PC itself. Okay. Now, you have your little on and off button right here. Uh, this section right here is uh, basically what can can act as a alternative way to power the machine on or off. Now, most machines also have a uh, second um, little device on there, which allows it to convert the electrical type. If you're in the European uh, country or if you're in uh, the Americas, you would have that option to, to change the voltage. And obviously, this is where the power supply cord goes. Okay, and there's a fan built into it to keep it cool because these things do get hot. Now, even looking at it um, a little bit further down in the, uh, uh, in the machine itself here, we're going to notice a couple of different things here. We're going to notice here, this is a DVI port. Okay, it's used for uh, your monitors. This particular one has three, um, but uh, only two will work at a time. Now, just to let you know, no trial three. Um, it also has what they call a Vera port. Um, some people call Okay. Now, we have a couple of other ports that we need to talk about here. This is basically for your audio, these three right here. I'm going to zoom in here so you can get a good eye on what they look like. Okay. we we'll have to just uh, play with it just a tad bit here. Let me come down. All right. This particular item right here, where my mouse is, these are for your audio. Now you have one that looks like a little microphone and then you see some that looks like a little speaker or a headset. They also have them in the front of the machine um, but for the back, uh, for it to be in the back is is probably I would say a little bit more idealistic unless you're using headphones. Okay, uh, otherwise it takes a lot of space. Now we also have on the same on this same board here a couple of USB slots. Now USB is universal serial bus, that's what it stands for. And um, there's a couple different standards. Uh, there's the 1.0, 1.1, 1 and, and 2.0. Um, this particular area right here, this port is called an Ethernet port, or RJ45. Um, it looks like a fat telephone jack, um, but it, it really is not. It's just basically used for um, uh, networking, for that matter. But believe it or not, a lot of voice over IP networks run through that same port. Um, so basically, you could say it's like a fat phone jack if you want to. Okay, now we also have what they call, um, uh, well, here's USB also, and they call this uh, the 1394 standard, which is FireWire. Um, very helpful uh, when you're using a lot of video. Um, that's the practicality of mainly is a transfer of video files at ex an extremely fast rate. Now, we have also, remember that DVI port that I told you about before, it even says DVI if you look close enough, um, it's here still, okay, and we also have what they call a serial port, they use those for the older type modems, you, you're seeing them less and less on machines now, but they're there on, at, on some machines, okay, and then you also have, uh, this is a, uh, this is the DV, the DB25 connector, I had to think about that. Um, it's used ma mainly for uh, printers. Uh, older style printers use these, but nowadays most printers are going to the USB format, which there's several. We'll talk about USB again here uh, shortly, but let's go back to this uh, DB25 connector. Now this is the female version right here because obviously something needs to be inserted in it. They are, they are gender specific in, um, in uh, when it comes to computer technology, and it just makes it a little bit easier for us to understand. Uh, again, we have our mini dens once again here for our mouse and our keyboard. Okay. Now, uh, notice too that there are that every case is a little bit different. This, no, notice how there's screws here, screws uh, a little bit further down. Excuse me, went too quick there. And the screws here, and um, they they come off differently. Now, notice you you can't you never want to take off um, uh, the side where your motherboard is at because there's no way you can get to the the 
any of the components in there. So you want to do on the opposite side, which would be this side. That's why there's screws here. But every board is different. Dell makes it so much different and much easier to get into. So keep remember too that there are different ports you will come across um, that are not mentioned in this. Um, going a little bit further in there, there's also a couple of other connectors I want to tell you about, like the uh, phone one. Uh, the, your phone jack uh, type of connector here is basically called an RJ11. It's the top one, and there's the RJ45 that we mentioned earlier here. There's a lot of different types of connectors here, so I'm going to show you a couple more here. We already talked about the uh, car, we talked about the keyboard. I want to tell you more about the... Um, uh, the mouse once again. Remember we talked about the uh, mini den. Uh, well, this is the older den right here. Now you may see, you may have seen this. Uh, let's get a better picture of it. You may have seen this actually on uh, an older computer. They no longer make this. This is completely obsolete. And this one is actually the, the is becoming more obsolete because they're moving now more towards USB um, uh, style of uh, uh, mouse. Now. Going back to USB, we did talk about um, a little bit about it. Um, those ports on the back of your your computer there on the USB section of things, these are called USB-A connectors. Now, the other end of it is called a B connector, as you notice here in this particular part of the video. Now, there's also uh, what they call a USB mini B connector. It looks like that. Okay, so these are different styles. Obviously, you see these more in cameras. All right. Okay, and notice too now nowadays they use the USB to charge devices like this is the iPhone right here. I have the same exact one. Um, so it, it's it's uh, USB is basically becoming very popular uh, because it's a very quick uh, device or type of connector, and uh, uh, a lot of a lot more companies are starting to recognize it more and more. HDMI is actually becoming more and more popular with uh, computers and monitors. So I want to hit on that briefly. It is basically the fastest format. I mean, you can send gigs through it, which that's good on a, on a transfer rate. So please keep that in mind. If you ever decide to buy a machine, maybe you might want to include HDMI. It's better video, and it actually includes audio and video in them. It replaces the audio portion of your uh, of your computer. Okay. Okay. Another device or another port I wanted to tell you about is called the Legacy Joystick or MIDI port. Um, it is very, very uh, popular amongst gamers, but uh, again, it's becoming more and more obsolete um, in uh, the... We also have what they call the S slash PDIF connection. Um, it's these two. Obviously, they have the... Uh, here, let me go ahead and try to get a uh, better visual for you. And if you notice there, uh, it looks more like it's an invite type of deal. It is. So keep that in mind. It does have that capability to um, use it. This is a traditional modem that has been used. It's actually internal um, modem. Um, you you have to plug it into uh, one of your PCI slots, which we'll get to that eventually here in the video, um, in order for it to access the internet, or maybe you're just using it to um, access a, a VPN server. Uh, that, that could be a possibility. Some networks do uh, give that. Um, Another port uh, jack uh, that's mentioned is called the eSATA jack, and this is the one that's circled right here. Um, it's becoming more and more popular still. Um, it's not something that is normally seen on a machine. Now I'm going to scroll up here just so you can see um, what this particular message says here. It says, uh, more and more PCs are showing up the eSATA ports like the one shown here. Uh, it is a special connector for external hard drives and optical drives. It has a very, very uh, fast connection. Okay, And of course this particular joystick has nothing to do with eSATA. I just thought I'd just show you the message that's on there because it is, uh, uh, there's little on it, but there is quite a bit of machines that use it. I know servers